In this video, we are completing our practical 4A that is creating the ATL map and set up the schedule for execution. Now my interpretation over here is creating the SSIS package and attaching that SSIS package with the SQL Server agent and schedule the job for it. I had seen some kind of books which are available in market where they had completed this practical in a printed mode. उन्होंने कुछ ऐसा किया हुआ है कि उन्होंने कुछ एक्सेल से एक्सट्रैक्ट करके पावर बी में एक मैप दिखा के उसका विजुअलाइजेशन दिया हुआ है बट मेरा यहाँ पे पूरा इंटरप्रिटेशन है अलग है मेरा इंटरप्रिटेशन है हम लोग को ईटीएल मैप क्रिएट करके उसका एसक्यूएल सर्वर का एजेंट में उसका शेड्यूलिंग करना सो दैट इज बीन एक्सपेक्टेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रैक्टिकल एज पर माई इंटरप्रिटेशन और मैं इंडस्ट्री में हूं तो मुझे मालूम है यही एक्सपेक्टेड रहता है बिकॉज ईटीएल मैप कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल है ना रोलैप अमोलैप हो गया अभी शेड्यूलिंग करना भी हम लोग को आना चाहिए एसएसआईएस पैकेज का तो ईटीएल मैप हम लोग ने क्रिएट किया था कहां पे क्रिएट किया था प्रैक्टिकल नंबर टू में क्रिएट किया था दैट इज परफॉर्मिंग द एक्सट्रैक्शन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड लोडिंग प्रोसेस टू कंस्ट्रक्ट डेटा बेस इन एसक्ल सर तो वही प्रोजेक्ट को मैं एक बार ओपन कर देता हूं बाई गोइंग टू दिजुअल स्टूडियो टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड रनिंग इट एज सब लोग ध्यान देंगे बराबर से सो एट स्टार्टेड माई विजुअल स्टूडियो एंड ओपन माई इंटीग्रेशन सर्विस प्रोजेक्ट तो ये प्रोजेक्ट हमने लास्ट टाइम क्रिएट किया था अगर आपको याद होगा तो अगर आपको नहीं आइडिया आ रहा है तो प्रैक्टिकल नंबर टू का वीडियो एक बार वापस देख लो सो इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू रिकलेक्ट द वे इन विच द प्रैक्टिकल इज बिन डिजाइन वी हेड गॉन टू डेटा फ्लो टास्क और यहां पर हम लोग ने कंप्लीट किया था Extracting from the Excel sources goes to derived columns and going to the SQL Server destination. So, एक बार मैं SQL Server को भी open करके दिखा देता हूँ. So, so please remember that your integration services need to be installed. Watch the practical correctly. Two part में practical है. पहले बताया हुआ है कि कौन से कौन से software आप लोगों को install करना है. और फिर बाद में ये practical कैसे complete करना. So here I started my SQL Server Management Studio, and you will find I have one database which is named the BSC IT. Which has one table which is named as product. So I give right click and say select top thousand rows. So this particular table currently is having seventy seven records. What I am doing it, I am deleting all the records by saying delete or maybe a truncate. So delete from table name product. And I just executed this query. All record got deleted. Such me hua ki nahi hua. Dekh lete hain by saying select asterisk from product. And I executed this query. You will find no records are now present in this table named as product. And this is our integration service ka ek project made. It is a SSIS ka package made. And when I execute this program, you know that this SSIS package will be extracting Excel data 77 rows, goes to my uh, transformation task, and from there it will be loading towards my SQL Server destination. So if I try to again now select asterisk from product, you will find that 77 rows are being added in this particular table. So यहाँ पे आ गए देखो 77 rows क्या हो गए आपके transfer rows. तो ये हो गया आपका ETL का map. चलो एक काम करते हैं वापस एक बार हम लोग इनको delete कर देते हैं by saying delete from product. तो चलो ये ETL का process भी अपना profile हो गया था तो मैंने सब delete कर दिया records. Now, in industry or in real life, what happens? Uh, you design one ETL process, but do we require to manually start the ETL process every time? Uh, the answer is no, because every time the data is being received from the sources, then it required to be transformed, then it required to be executed. The company decides, or the administrator decides uh, every day, uh, maybe at seven o'clock. Or every week, a specific three days, this task need to be completed automatically. Now that is something termed as scheduling a job. इसे को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं? Scheduling a job बोलते हैं. और job को schedule करने के लिए ये end कर दिया project मैंने. Job को schedule करने के लिए SQL Server में आपके पास आता है SQL Server agent. Please check किया करो. आपका agent started है. अगर नहीं started तो start करो. If the agent is not started, it is not possible for you to run the schedules. Or SQL Server agents may आपको यहाँ पे jobs दिखाई देते हैं। कुछ job मिल रहा है, some my job one है, and other jobs are there. 
I just deleted this earlier job created by me. And now I would like to show you how we can schedule our jobs in this practical. It's quite easy to schedule our jobs. Sir, ye kaisa kiya ta? Ek bar wapad batao. Please watch the practical number two way. So, thoda sa mene change kiya hua design karte wad. Ye jo Excel source tha mera. Agar connection manager ko barabar se dekho ge. You will find I had just passed on this file to D drive. But remember that when you are trying to scheduling the SSIS package in the job, the folder where you are keeping your source file uh, or maybe the connection must be having the proper uh, validations or authentication and the folder must be having reading and writing access. So this is why I have to add it to Now, let's move ahead. I would like to create a new job schedule. So I give a right click on job, selected the option and new job. It asks me the job name. I provide the job name and job one. Inside the job, you can provide description as per your requirement. Why you had developed the job? What is the purpose of developing the job? You can create the steps to be taken when this job is getting executed. Now these steps can be uh, your transaction SQL statement. Okay, which is working on a specific database. Or your step can be a SSIS package. Currently, we have developed the SSIS package. So, we are interested in uh, using that SSIS package in our job. So, I give a name of the step as step 1. And I provided a type over here as SQL Server Integration Service Package. And the package will be from a file system. Now, what should be the name of the package? Now, you do one thing. You go to Visual Studio. Physical path dena hai. Easy karlo. Save kar le apne sabko. And I just give a right click over here. Selected the option as copy full path and pasted this path over here. So my step is being uh, cleared. It is package.dtsx file. Once this has been completed, I'd given a click on OK. Here it asks me, show me the schedule. So I'm trying to create a new schedule where I say this is my SCH1 schedule 1. It is a recurring task schedule on every Monday, every Friday and every Sunday. Or maybe a Saturday. You decide any days. I decide only Monday and Sunday or maybe okay Friday and Sunday or Wednesday and Sunday. This task should be executed. Right? Uh, at what time it should occur? I just it should be occurring at 12 o'clock. Okay. What is the starting date? What is the ending date? So if no ending date is mentioned, so it means what? Till the time you are not stopping this particular schedule. The schedule is getting executed. The job is getting executed. You got a proper description over here. Occurs every week on Wednesday, Sunday at 12. Schedule will be used to starting on 5-1-2013. I just say, okay, fine. Everything is good. Now I can decide the alerts. I can decide notifications. Like you want that once the schedule is getting executed, if the job fails, then to which email address the notification must be given. When the job succeeded, to which email address the notification must be given. So you can decide all the notifications also. Right to I am not going to provide all this thing. It is out of scope of your curriculum. So once this has been done, then you can give a click on OK. So job is what been created and you can find over here is job one. Now you know that it will be executed on Wednesday and Sunday. And today I am operating on Thursday. So I am waiting for that much time. So I will not wait for that much time. I will show you that when I have a select aspect from table name as product, so no records are present class. But if I execute this job, so I give a right click and select the option as start job at step. So the job is getting executed. Once the job is getting executed and successful, and if I try to go for executing this query, you can check all 77 records have been added. So, company, a company database manager or database administrator or maybe uh, any particular one who is having the responsibility to handle the task, he created the job, ATL process, and that can be scheduled by us in SQL Server. Oracle, we have a different plan for doing it. SQL Server, we are using the SQL Server agent. Right? So, this is the way by which you can create the ETL map and further, you are able to go for what? Scheduling the ETL map in the SQL Server agent as a jobs. So we had settled the SSIS package for our first job that is job 1. So class that's end of this particular video. Please like this video, share this video and interpret the question properly. This is what my thought process is already. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.